Hello everyone, if you want to make decisions about investments, hiring or expansions or get critical financial insights, then creating an operating budget in Excel is the best option for you. It helps business plan and set financial goals for the upcoming year. It provides a clear roadmap for revenue generation and cost management. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Lemi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create an operating budget in Excel. So let's talk about what is an operating budget. Every operation needs an operating budget and it includes all the incomes, expenses and revenue in a period that is planned by the company or the organization. By using it, the owner can easily modify the plan for the benefit of the company. At first, we have created three tables named expense, income and revenue. We have entered the data from the source data but you can change it accordingly. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. Now we need to go for the expense table and we need to calculate the total forecast and actual values for both the months of January and February. So we'll go for C15 and insert the sum function to add all the numbers in a certain range which is in this case C7 to C14. Click the enter button to get the total forecast of the January. Now use fill handle from left to right to get all the results of the expense table. Go for the income table and do the same. Again in the I12 cell use the sum function to add all the values of I7 to I11. Press the enter button to get the perfect total income forecast. Use the fill handle from left to right to get the total values of forecast and actual in the month of January and February. So we have our expense and income here. To get the revenue at first we need the help of total income and total expense. So we'll go for the total expense in the I16 cell and now add all the expenses of both months which is in the C15 and plus the E15. Click the enter button to get the result here then use fill handle to do the same for the actual expenses. You need to do the same for the total income so we'll go for the I17 cell and here you'll choose I12 as the first focused and then you'll go for the K12 as second month focused. Click the enter button to get the perfect result. Now use fill handle again to get the result for the actual portion of the income sense. Then go for the I18 cell to get the revenue. The revenue is equal to income minus expense. So I'll go for the total income minus the total expense in the I16. Click the enter button to get the result here. Now use fill handle to get the revenue for both the sections. So we have got the total revenue of the company here. We have the summary of the operating budget from the previous worksheet but to make it more understandable for everyone we need to add proper charts along with it. So we'll select B5 to D8 cell, go for the insert tab and in the chart section we'll go for insert column or bar chart. Here you'll select 2D clustered column to get a perfect clustered column section. In this chart, you can see the expense, income and revenue sections are showing properly here. Go for the chart elements and remove the grid lines to show it properly. Again, go for the chart title and make the proper heading according to your wish. Here we have created the operating budget, so we'll name it operating budget. So we have created the perfect chart here. So that's how we can easily create operating budget in Excel. So that's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.